But what's something that uh, Brother Hugh said is that there's a difference between being used one time because um, and then being consistently being used as a leader and as a person that kind of breaks the ground even for other people. And what did you see right now? You've been in ministry for some time now. What did you see is the, is the key that you would say for you to continuously walk in that and grow in that? Okay. Um, the first of all is, is uh, I have to clarify this, is all, all by grace, um, the, the special grace, uncommon grace upon, upon my life. And I really thank God for that. Um, but um, I would like to point out two things. Um, as I, I, I am very sure that God has, I mean, any, God can use anybody to perform miracles, but I am, I, I am very sure about my identity that God has called me to an uncommon calling, like special calling to embrace the Christians as a leader and to embrace the churches. And as you said, breaking the grounds and, and, and traveling all the nations to, to embrace the churches and impart the, the, impart the gift of the Holy Spirit to the churches and the leaders. And to, uh, for, to, for me to maintain this mission, to this calling as a leader to to, to, to embrace the church and Christians and as a leader to consistently manifest the glory of Jesus Christ. Um, there are very two things that I, I found, I, I find myself is very important. Uh, number one is, um, I can say is the purity, the, the pure heart. Um, I, am, I am not using this uh, miracle to show off or, or gain something in my life. Uh, I am just, many times I pray to the Lord, Lord, um, the deliverance is not something that I want. Healing is not something that I want. Miracle is not something that I want. Lord, you know my heart. The only desire I have is, is to, to, to experience your presence, to be submerged in your presence. This is the only desire. And many times I pray to the Lord, Lord, I want to stop this. I just want to stay in a secret place um, um, under your presence. This is only desire I have for you. So um, uh, this kind of um, desire, mm -hmm. seeking, not seeking for, for, for a miracle, but um, just seeking for the secret place. And, and this desire makes me to stay in the secret place, though. And mm -hmm. this, this desire about the presence of the Lord, the first love of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says also that even though there are many miracles, but if there is no love, it is nothing. Mm -hmm. So the, the first desire of my heart is the love, the first love for Jesus Christ and the presence of the Lord. Um, I've, I've, I've been in this spirit. I've been in this attitude and heart since I was, I was like six, seven. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe... You know, it actually, it is the grace of God using my life, but um, I think also God is really pleased about the heart that I have. And that is why I think God is carrying me to all the nations uh, to use as a leader. And as God takes me to the nations, I impart this heart to every churches. I impart this heart to every churches. And also, um, yeah, also um, mm -hmm. God told me, through somebody that that God will take me to all the nations because just to awake the churches mm -hmm. but wherever I go I, I awake the churches with a desire for mm -hmm. Jesus Christ this mm -hmm. pure desire so I believe that to for for God to use me as this kind of uncommon vessel consistently number one a condition is purity and number two is a character I've seen um, um, you know, I, I go to many places. Mm -hmm. I, I seriously, um, I've I've met thousands of leaders. I've been to every kind of denominations. I even went to a denomination that denies the Holy Spirit. I, I I've been to every kinds of churches and cities and nations. I've met mm -hmm. many men of God and leaders, but I see uh, there are people who lacks character, mm -hmm. uh, people who have gift people who have anointing, but no character. Mm -hmm. And I see it very destructive mm -hmm. and very, um, um, I mean, unqualified for God to continue using them as a 
leader, like not for a miracle, I mean, for as a leader, mm-hmm. is something different. Using being used as a miracle and being used as a leader is something very different. We need mm-hmm. to really separate these two things. And I see the people without character, they have the gift, but no character. It's very difficult for God to carry them as a leader. Mm-hmm. So, um, um, to to be uh, as an answer for your question, if your question is how to be, how to maintain yourself being used as a leader who consistently manifests the glory of Jesus, is number one is purity and number two is character. I can say. Mm-hmm. Wow! Wow! That is. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys watching probably didn't expect that coming because, you know, a lot of times we would say, you know, and I know that Brother Hugh doesn't deny the importance of having mentors in our life. You know, he has also good mentors that he submits himself to, that he learns from and what he received uh, from other people. But what we're talking about right now is not how to receive the anointing. We're talking about right now how to maintain and to grow in that anointing because, you know, we receive it from God. I like what you, what you mentioned is that we receive it by the grace of God. And then God can, through His grace, use dreams. He can use prophetic words. He can use... Some people receive that actually from birth. They're born with that calling from the beginning, before, you know, your mother's womb. God says to Jeremiah, I knew you. You know, some people have that like from their birth. I'm not saying they're saved from their birth, but they have that calling. And some of us, we get that like, I know that you were really uh, touched by God giving you you know, Prophet TB Joshua as well, that unlocked some uh, measure of grace and then that dream that you received and I know that you spent some time with Apostle Gen Chi and you're visiting uh, uh, the um, uh, church in Cameroon uh, with Apostle Gen Chi and also kind of learning and walking in relationship with other ministers but at the same time to maintain that anointing guys and that is we have to walk in purity and as Brother Hugh mentioned, purity cannot be achieved until we passionately love Jesus and I do believe that Mm -hmm. the words he was using he's not just saying these things as you can feel it from his heart and spending time with him I can testify of that as he's saying hey I would rather spend time in a secret place than minister on the outside you know or minister publicly and a lot of people they desire public ministry more than they desire private experience with God and I think that this should be a good quickening to every minister, to every person who is called to ministry because even if you're not going to have a full-time ministry, you are a minister. We have the ministry of reconciliation the Bible says and so but our first ministry is to the Lord. Before Paul was used to be a missionary and write the New Testament and all of that. The Bible says that Paul ministered to the Lord. So we have to minister to the Lord. We have to fall in love with Jesus again. And if you are used by God powerfully, I want this live stream today to be a reminder to go back to the first love, to go back. This is, God is not using you so you will now leave Him and you will fall in love with ministry and instead of keep loving Jesus with all of your heart. And if God is not using you as powerful as you would wish to, Make sure that you love Him. The first commandment is not thou shall cast out demons. Casting out demons is very important but that is not the first commandment. The first commandment is not thou shall heal the sick. The first commandment is thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, thy soul and thy mind. Meaning love God with everything. And you know what the second commandment is? And that is not to have a worldwide ministry. The second commandment is to love other people because ultimately healing, deliverance, discipleship is an expression of God's love to people. And if we don't have that love for people and it doesn't flow from love for Jesus, then what we're doing is we're just trying to show off the power. We're just trying to use it for the show. We're trying to use it for our own self-esteem because we, you know, we've never been liked or, you know, maybe we have some father wounds or some other things that we want to compensate it with, with uh, notoriety or fame or money or being liked by a lot of people and everything and stuff. And so love is the reason for ministry and love is the reason why Jesus saved us and it's why we're saved is to love Him back. And then the second part as Brother Hugh mentioned is that we have to develop character. And when you say character, like for a lot of people it means different things. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Like what do you mean by character? Like for somebody who's watching there, I even see some people asking that but I also want to know how is it in your mind? What is in Brother Hugh's mind? Especially you've seen a lot of ministries and and ministers. What are some of the things that you're seeing that honestly we need to repent of? That you're seeing that they're not in the character that glorifies Jesus and in the character that helps us to maintain the anointing? Um, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Um, 
yeah, love, unity, humility, those things. So um, good. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So the gift is the second thing. I think even it can be the third thing or fourth thing. Number one to three should be the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Come on. Brother Hugh, that, that, that's a short, sweet to the point. You are, and I'm going to, I hope it's okay with you, mention that you are 28 years of age, so you're a very young man. Um, you are, you know, walking with the Lord. You're also a single young man. How do you walk in purity, sexual purity, um, uh, with this notoriety, uh, with being known now? Um, you know, how do you maintain uh, that area and how do you maintain your heart from becoming proud? I mean, you're very young. God is giving a lot of grace. Um, you know, your shadow, God uses your shadow to heal the sick. I mean, that's, that's, that's like Book of Acts kind of stuff. And so how do you walk in, um, in away from pride? Uh, what are some practical things that you do? What are things that you're telling to Brother Hugh to stay humble and to stay pure in the area of relationships? Wow. Uh, to firstly uh, uh, talk about uh, the relationships. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm a young man, I'm not yet married, um, but uh, I'm a leader of the ministry. And yeah, I'm a single man, like, uh, as, but living as a leader of the ministry. And um, there are many things I, 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 I I mean, I practice. There are many things I practice okay, tell to us. keep myself. Because um, even I tell to my disciples saying that um, I believe you, but I don't believe in your flesh. I believe you, but I don't believe in your flesh desires. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I practice myself to put physical boundaries. Okay. Um, if, um, for example, I don't meet any woman in one-on-one -on -one in the private place. It, I, I must always carry somebody with me or I must, if I have to meet them, I'll be meeting them in the open place. I'll mm -hmm. never meet them in the private place. And even I instruct the ministry um, um, message repliers to always reply, don't reply to any woman. Uh, for example, I have to have a meeting with some, some woman. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I always instruct them to never reply to that any any woman saying that man of God Hyok wants to meet you or or brother Hyok wants to meet you or Hyok wants to meet you because anytime they can capture that and use that for something else saying that man of God wants to meet me privately I always instruct them to say the brother Hyok ministries the team wants to meet you and we'll be all going together uh, so. So these kind of things, I put mm -hmm. physical boundaries mm -hmm. to don't give any space for the demon mm -hmm. um, and don't give any space to the flesh. You know, um, many people think that demon is our uh, number one enemy. No, the flesh is our number one enemy. So um, to, to, to avoid right there. flesh you need desires. To, I'm going to pause it for a second. The demon mm -hmm. is not your number one enemy. Your flesh is number one enemy. Continue. Amen. So to, 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 to overcome the flesh desires, uh, it is very important to put physical boundaries. For example, you, if you are staying in a dark room alone for like um, for one month and you're not spiritually strong and you're not there for fasting or nothing, something will happen. You know, if you isolate yourself and something will happen if you're not there for fasting or praying. Mm -hmm. So you need to put like physical boundaries physical boundaries. So I practice that and I also uh, tell my disciples to practice that physical boundaries. Mm -hmm. And also that is something physical um, practice. And for the spiritual practice, it is very important to, to um, love, love Jesus. But how do you love Jesus is, is, you know, okay, let me try to love more Jesus. No, you cannot do that. Like, you can, you're, you're not a machine. You're not a plastic where you can just press a button and to love mm -hmm. Jesus more. You need to experience the presence of the Lord to, to love Jesus more. Mm -hmm. So the key of the purity is to put yourself in the presence. Always mm -hmm. put, your, put yourself where there is the presence of the Lord. Um, 
for for myself, I always uh, put myself in in the secret or worshiping the Lord, where because when I worship, the presence of the Lord comes in my room and He will just submerge me into His presence. But for people who are having difficult experiencing the presence of the Lord alone, I recommend you to put your physical body into a place where there is the presence of the Lord. Put your mm -hmm. physical body into a worship place. Put your physical body into the Sunday service, to the morning service, mm -hmm. morning prayer. Put your physical body into the Friday night, revival night. Mm -hmm. you know, so you need to expose yourself to the presence of the Lord. Because when you, when you experience and taste the presence of the Lord, mm -hmm. you will see everything in the world as a trash. Mm -hmm. Because that presence of the Lord is so glorious and so sweet that your heart will be just saying automatically the lord your heart will be saying automatically when you experience the presence of the lord saying lord there's nothing more important than you the lord seems to be trash to me mm -hmm. so so in that in that category we call it world there are also mm -hmm. of, uh, flesh desire lust and everything like if you just experience the presence of the lord those those things like those obscene and adulterous things, those mm -hmm. lusts, those those worldly desires, those flesh desires are are such a trash mm -hmm. if you experience the presence of the Lord. Amen.